Howdy Air Gunners, it's Matt again here at Pitbull Air Guns. Um, today we are going to install one of our new Cocker Spaniel cocking handles on a customer's gun. There's a known issue with the factory aluminum one bending, so we made our own. This is cold roll steel. Uh, we made it a little bit beefier in a couple of locations here and here. Uh, we also made it stand off of the gun a little bit more so that if you got gloves on, things like that, you can reach your hand in there and grab a hold of that handle a little bit better. Um, it's only uh, about 3 sixteenths of an inch, something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, um, it's a known issue for the Bulldog. Every time you try to get a little bit more power, you get that spring just a little bit tight, the cocking handles are known to bend. They'll either bend this way from putting in too much or from having too much spring or if you're trying to run a bigger bullet and you haven't throated the the bore in the barrel like we do when we tune them then they can bend that way from trying to seat a bullet into the rifling so um, it's a known issue um, anyway we're just going to do an install video it's really quick and simple but uh, everybody likes a good video so here we go All right, folks, we've got our gun drained. Um, we've got our parts here. We've got a 332nd um, Allen wrench. Uh, first thing we need to do, this is a carbine model, so it's already sh cut down a bit, but uh, we've got to pull our uh, rear bolt out here. Just a little bit of a push down. We'll get that off so that we can take our upper pieces off. Just so everybody doesn't think that we're, we've got a bad gauge here. The gun is empty, so we're going to replace that gauge while we're in here. Back here on the back, very important, we've got a little set screw. And this is a 1.27 Allen wrench. I think it's supposed to be standard, but this is the size that we have that fits. But you've got a little set screw that locks down around this pivot. Just back it off till the head sticks out just a little bit. Pull that out. And now we can get to our E-clip that holds in our hammer. We need to, there we go. We can get to this little e-clip right here. If you don't have an e-clip tool, just a little small flathead, we'll usually just push it right off of there. I'm going to set it right there. Okay, and now for reassembly, it's just reverse. Just reverse process. I'm sorry I shake so much. I shake like a dog trying to shit a peach seed, but I can still get her done. Just snap your E-clip back on there and make sure it's seated really good and you won't have any problems. Don't over tighten that, just snug is all you need to do. Two finger tight. So this customer's gauge was a little off. Not sure exactly why, but just a little off. Um, this is the factory Crossman gauge. We have we found a supplier that makes the exact copy. So we're gonna replace it for him while we're in here. We put some good blue tape on it. One thing to remember is this lip right here goes underneath, so make sure that you don't try to just stick it on like that. It needs to go underneath this part of the stock. OK, 
Okay, so we're just gonna slide our upper shroud back on and then one screw right here. All right, folks, there we go. One Cocker Spaniel installed, uh, ready to go. This, this guy's ready for a heavy duty spring and uh, look for those on the website soon. We'll uh, probably have a package deal with a handle and a heavy duty spring. But uh, you guys have a great day, have fun. Keep your lead down range.